فلم يفضحنا الله أكبر الله أكبر يا من رآنا على منكر فلم يفضحنا Oh, that, that, and that being who sees us on disobedience and still doesn't open up our things in front of the public. Imagine. Oh, that person who sees us, Allah says, I, I see your sins. And Allah could say, you know him, watch. Look, this is what he does. Allah kept farda, concealed. But the Muslim doesn't. <coughs> we don't. He said, he did this. Did you, oh, have you heard the new gossip? Women get together, bas, toba, toba. Women, ajeeb, subhanallah, this is why the majlis should be about the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. Okay, it doesn't mean we only talk about the deen. I'm not saying that anything else is haram. Okay, there can be general conversation, so long as it's permissible. But why is it that women get together, they start doing riba? Or this woman, this woman, oh, did you hear what happened in this family? Another conversation. Ajeeb halat, subhanallah, ajeeb condition. Allah Ta'ala can open up, and this is that Sahabi's dua. Ya man ra'a, oh, that, he sees us sinning, and he can stop us any moment, but he gives muhla and chance. How kind is Allah? How merciful is Allah? And how tolerant is Allah? How tolerant is Allah? Allahu Akbar, how tolerant and how merciful is Allah that Allah still gives a chance. Okay, he will make tawbah, she will make tawbah. Hoping that, okay, this man, this man or this woman or this child will turn to me, he will make tawbah. What was that thing we said? If you do the same thing again and again every single day, 70 times, and you say, Ya Allah, please forgive me. Allah will say, okay, I've forgiven you, no problem. You know, if, you did, if, if someone came to me and budged me and goes, sorry, and they come, sorry. Sorry, I was like, by khudadibas. Please. Third time, fourth time, you go, please, jazakallah. No more now, brother. Fourth time, if you own a shop and the guy goes, uh, boss, I'll be there at nine, yeah? and he comes in at ten, he goes, oh, tomorrow I won't be, I won't be late. Tomorrow he comes ten, third day he comes ten, he goes, break, hand in your resignation. Go work somewhere else, go and sign on. You know, we don't want your likes here. Allah is saying, sin against me 70 times, no problem. Allah, see, you don't know who Allah, we don't recognize who Allah is so... So tolerant, so tolerant. Any moment Allah doesn't, remember, Allah doesn't need us. Allah doesn't need us. Allah, our ibadah does not benefit Allah. Our disobedience does not harm Allah. Allah is still giving Allahu Akbar. Allah is still giving, doesn't take. How tolerant is Allah? And we disobey that Allah? We disobey that Allah? I, Allah, I use my money to sin against Allah? Allah goes, I gave you the money and you're sinning against me? That, you know, like one person, subhanAllah, he came to England and someone said to him, have you got any relatives? And these, these, are, and these are real incident. He goes, yeah, I have, one minute. He went like this and he pulled out a note. He goes, you see this woman? She's my relative. I've got no family here. Meaning money. This is my relative. You know, he pick, the picture of the queen is on our notes. Queen, so he goes, e mai jadi hai? E rishtadar this woman, I've got no family. This is our con this is our condition. And then to disobey Allah night and day, night and day, night and day, Allah is still giving. It's okay. It's okay. He'll come back. But then when that person goes without iman, or when that person goes without tawbah, then Allah ma'afirma. Then that's when the halat really becomes bad, because then a person will see what is going, going, what is happening in the life hereafter. Allah, please send me back. It'll, it'll never happen. Never. That's why the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, You regard a clever person who has degrees. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa is saying, the clever person who prepares for mawt. This is clever. Because mawt is yaqini, it's happening. And he controls his desires. Stay in obedience. So you have to oppose your nafs, my brothers and sisters. Whoever listening, Oppose your desires. Oppose shaitan. Shaitan gets happy. That this individual is sinning against Allah. Happy. We please shaitan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so tolerant. Allah is still giving muhla and chance. So my dear brothers, I've really gone past my time now. Agar main banna karu, gala baiti jayega. Abhidha, I'll have to stop now regardless. So may Allah 
really inspire us and give us the tawfiq to make amal and practice on whatever I've said. Say I mean inshallah. Amen. Amen. I, I have taken more time than which I should have really. And I, I swerved off on a couple of different things. By Allah, I don't mention things to crack jokes. It really is not in my nature. I am who I am and I speak how I speak. But from the bottom of my heart really, if you make fikr now, go from this gathering making tawbah. How do you make tawbah? By simply saying, oh Allah, I, 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 I seek forgiveness for my sins. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. From the bottom of your heart, Ya Allah, Joho, whatever happened, fin finish, make tawbah. You know, subhanAllah, I went to one, one, of the, one sheikh in UK who is, mashallah, very mushfiq and very kind as well to me. And I said to him, you know, Monana, sometimes I think about things in the past and we all as humans, we all sin. He goes, he goes, Monana, Mava, Ma, Mava. He did this in Arabic beautifully. Mava, Ma, Mava. In Arabic, you know, who understands Arabic will appreciate more. Mava, whatever has gone, has gone. Let bygones be bygones. No matter how dark your past is, your future is free from darkness. Do you understand this? No matter how dark your past is, your future is free from blemish. It's free from darkness. You make it how you make it. If you say, Ya Allah, over on everything, I'll never sin against you again. I don't want to die and go to Jahannam. I don't want to die on your disobedience. Allah will forgive. Ghafar tulak. Allah abali, I'll forgive you, no problem. And every day make the niyat again. Ya Allah, today, another day, I want to live it without your disobedience. And if we do sin, make istighfar. One sheikh mentioned such a beautiful example. Allah gave jazaah khair to Mawlana Salim Garadza, who also is very kind on this sinful slave. He mentioned a beautiful example which I share with you and I terminate on this example. He said, it's not possible that someone is not going to sin. It's not possible that someone is not going to sin. We are all going to sin because كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمْ خَطَّى all of the offspring of Adam are sinful by inherently default function they're all sinners however the best of sinners are those when they sin they turn to Allah in repentance we're going to sin so to say I, I never that is why it's foolish when we see certain religious people we say Astaghfirullah he done this sin but if he didn't make sin he'd be a prophet obviously Nabuud is closed or he would be an angel which is not possible. Every human being will sin. And Allah, look at this. Allah loves to forgive so much. He mentions in the hadith, لَوْ لَمْ تُذْنِبُوا لَذَهَبَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى بِكُمْ وَلَجَاءَ بِقَوْمٍ يُذْنِبُونَ فَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ اللَّهُ فَيَغْفِرَ لَهُمْ If you stop sinning, for example, sinning is not good, but let's just say mankind stopped sinning and they become like awliya, everyone. Allah would deliberately create a nation of people that do sin. Now you may think, that seems a bit odd. Allah would create a people who do sin. Why? So when they sin, they say, Ya Allah, I'm, I'm sorry. Allah say, okay, I've forgiven you. Because Allah loves to forgive. He loves, this is a hadith sahih. لَوْ لَمْ تُذْنِبُوا لَذَهَبُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى بِكُمْ Allah would bring another, another nation. So Sheikh mentions that like white clothing, Whenever you wear white clothes, no one intends that I'm going to get my clothes dirty. You'd be foolish to think so, right? You don't want to get them dirty. But naturally, you know what? White clothes are prone to being dirty. Anna? You know that they're going to get dirty. You can't stop that from happening, but you know. Like I, in the morning, mashallah, I press the clothes. Galaf, way, mashallah. Way from Copenhagen, way from, the, from, from Gatwick, they become ruined. There's nothing you can do. You can't prevent it. <laughs> And I was looking at them now, I said, I'm just leaving now, let's just go. So you can't prevent it. You know what you do, your clothes will get ruined, they will get dirty. But nobody throws mess on their clothes to dirty their clothes. Similarly like in sand, how we are like white clothes. You don't want to sin, but naturally you will sin. But the way to wash your sins is with the soap of Tawbah. The soap of Tawbah. Wash the sins away. Every day, two regards, Salatu Tawbah, Ya Allah, forgive me for what I've done. Before going to sleep, Muhasaba of the day, forgive me, Ya Allah, forgive me. And make istighfar. Bring alive dhikr and ta'aleem within the home. If I have ijab, I'm going to stop here because if I don't stop, then I'm really not going to stop. I would like to carry it afterwards if the brothers permit me, inshallah. If we have some time, alhamdulillah. There are many more, wallahi, many things I want to mention more. Don't have time. It's half eight, isn't it?
Okay, I just want to mention this last thing. Okay, and this is really the last thing. <laughs> About certain a'mal, and I genuinely, this, I'm going to finish on this. Make a tartib with your, with your family ta'aleem. Take some time out for yourself, your own personal tazkiyah. Every single day, try to read Qur'an yourself. At least one juz of Qur'an. At least try to make dua five minutes a day. You know, genuinely, for all your needs. Try to do some dhikrullah. And if you're asking what? Durood or salawat upon the Prophet. If you don't want to read Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, which we read in salah, read sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Na man salla alayya wahida sallallahu alayhi ashra. If you send one salutation upon me, Allah will send 10 rahmah and 10 mercies to you. So 100 times, 300 times a day if possible. <coughs> Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You'll be finished in 3 minutes, 4 minutes. <coughs> astaghfirullah. 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 Think of your astaghfirullah. Think, make istighfar. Ya Allah, I've done so many sins. Astaghfirullah. 100 times a day. And in addition to that, Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. 100 times a day. Incorporate this. Whether walking to and from the masjid, the best effective way is sit after salah, minimum, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah, 33 times. You've done that. Then, additionally, if you can spend time in the morning, time in the evening, just fix one time, 10 minutes, no more than that. It's better for you to spend one minute than doing nothing at all. Start with, and if you can't read Quran, because many brothers say, I can't read Quran, but pick up a qaida. Pick up a, an, a learning manual, pick up a children's manual and read Alif, Ba, Ta, Fa and carry on like this. Fix a time, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 30 minutes. Inshallah, a time will come, you will learn the Quran. There was a sheikh in, in Dewsbury, he was saying to his son, he goes, Son, please, Allah has given us plenty of dunya, become a hafiz. He goes, Nay, 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 I don't want to become a hafiz. Nay. So then he goes, Okay, he turned the attention towards the grandkids. He goes, Please, become hafiz. And the, the ajr, Allahu Akbar. It mentions that that person who learns Quran, again, this is another subject, but just whoever learns Quran, Allah will inter give him the intercession for 10 people of his family who have been doomed to Jahannam. Hafiz Abs got to say, Ya Allah, please forgive that person, please. Allah say, okay, Jalu, I'll forgive him for your sake. And 10 people like this, I, I can't go into another thing, but now this man, he said to his son, he said to his grandchildren, they said, no, no, we don't want to do it. Do you go, Acha, I'll do it myself then, Chur. So he sat down to learn Quran and Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah, within three years he became a Hafid of Quran. 63 years now, well, when he was then, and he became a full Hafid of Quran. Full, at that age. And everything going against him, work, age, so on. He, he, he said the name of Allah and started. So my dear brothers, don't think, oh, I've gone past that age now. I've gone past that age, what can I do? You know, there was this one incident, and this is not wahi, so don't take me, you know. But there was, wallahu a'lam, which reason it was. But there was this one person who was reading Quran for many years. And because he lived in some, in the middle of Sindh, somewhere in the middle of a desert, he didn't have the opportunity to learn Quran. But what he would do is he would open up the Quran every day and he would put his finger on the line and would just say, Ya Allah, say, Evi Sache. Ya Allah, say, Evi Sache. Ya Allah, say, Evi Sache. And in English, oh, oh Allah, you know, this, this is the truth. Oh Allah, this is the truth. Oh Allah, this is the truth. He didn't read anything. He just used to pass his finger on the paper. Allah, Allah is my witness. The Shaykh mentioned we passed by that qabr and qassam by Allah, we could smell a fragrance coming from that qabr. Now only Allah knows which deed Allah gave him. And it could be a multiple of other things. But the, the Shaykh was mentioning that it's possible, quite possible Allah favored him through this attachment and ta'aluk with the Quran, which was so great. that Despite having no knowledge, he still used to do this. Only Allah knows best. So my dear brothers, much can be said more. I, I really forgive me if I've exhausted much time beyond my capacity. I said to Sheikh, Sheikh Nasir, I said, one hour is my limit. MashaAllah, I've, I've gone well beyond that. Only Allah knows why. I've never, I don't do bayans this long. One hour and finish. Maybe it's someone's fikr, maybe it's someone's desire. 
You don't plan these things. I don't have a script. I'm reading and I'm talking from the bottom of my heart. May Allah give us tawfiq to make amal on whatever has been mentioned, inshallah. May Allah forgive our sins. May Allah ta'ala also forgive our shortcomings. And may Allah gather us in Jannah the Firdaus like we have also gathered here. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Inshallah, I think the adhan will be